I have a computer which I don't use that often. Um, it's normally just sitting there. Uh, but today I wanted to use it and of course the day that you want to use it something doesn't work. And in this case the keyboard doesn't respond. So uh, this is a wireless keyboard as we can see, no wires. And the first uh, suspect would be the, the battery. And as soon as I flipped it over I could see uh, the issue, obviously, the, the battery has, has leaked. Um, so I need to get in there and, and, and clean that up. I thought I'd make a little video, a top tip, uh, help other people in a similar situation. So let's get inside there and take a look. I don't want this stuff going all over the bench. And we can see, yes, it's a, a right mess in there. Um, probably it would be a better idea if I was wearing gloves, but I don't happen to have any, but I uh, should certainly be washing my hands thoroughly afterwards. Let's get the guy out. And clearly we can see that uh, it has, has leaked and we can identify that it's an alkaline cell. So uh, to neutralize an alkaline, you need an acid. Now, my acid of choice is going to be uh, this cleaning vinegar, uh, vinegre di limpieza, as they say over here. And uh, that will serve. Uh, at a push, I guess you could use normal vinegar uh, or even lemon juice, but this will work for me. So we're going to need a suitable container and uh, an old toothbrush to, uh, to sort that out. Now, Unfortunately, the other contact is recessed down the bottom here, so I'm not going to be easily able to get to that. So I guess it's time to take the keyboard apart. I'm sure my new toy is going to make light work of this as well. So we can clearly see the corrosion on the contacts there, so let's get the vinegar and clean that up. I can actually see the uh, see the vinegar fizzing as it's uh, clearing the corrosion off. So I think I'm just going to let that sit. Uh, oh, so we can take this one out. Let's have a look. Yes, yeah, so I think I'll just let that sit for a while uh, for it to do its magic. We can see that the, the contacts are now nice and, and clean. Uh, I don't think they're going to need any sandpaper or anything. There's no, no signs of pitting or whatever. The only thing now, I will give it uh, a quick clean also with some isopropanol. That's really to get rid of any residue left by the vinegar. And just to get it all nice and clean. So now with that done, it's just a matter of reassembling and testing. I'm sure it's going to work and then I can get on with the job I was supposed to be doing.